the number one comfort food in every state. I really enjoyed checking out like American food videos. Yeah, let's jump straight into this and see what we got with this. Get ready for a mouthwatering journey from crispy fried green tomatoes to silky slippery dumplings and right, the underdog hungry. food favorite. Indulge in the number one comfort foods across states, north and south. Made from thick, chunky slices of fresh green tomato that have been dipped in egg and flour or cornmeal and then fried to golden perfection, fried green tomatoes are the epitome of classic Southern cooking. You know what? I'm not actually a massive fan of tomatoes, but that actually looks good. <laughs> I can't see the tomato, but... The dish started as a way to use up unripe tomatoes before they could spoil and right. has grown into a staple of Alabama home cooking. Tangy and savory with a satisfying crunch Ooh. in every bite, these Montgomery faves only get better when dipped in a bit of remoulade or spicy mayonnaise. Ooh, Alaska, I'll try it. King crab legs are... You guys gotta let me know. If you're from these states, you gotta let me know. Is this true or is there, is there better comfort foods? Favorite, regardless of whether they've been boiled, grilled, steamed, or baked tender, sweet, and succulent on their own, and only better when dipped in a vat of butter, the king crab has come to serve as a symbol of Alaska's resilience. Wait, Alaska, do you actually eat well, like other, other places will be eating this as well. But do you actually eat it like that so you can still see like the crab legs? Harvested in the cold waters of the Bering Sea, this prized delicacy is especially treasured by locals who get to enjoy it at its freshest. Chimichangas are made from grilled tortillas that have been filled with ingredients ranging from shredded chicken to beef to pork and are then rolled up like a burrito and deep fried until golden brown. Oh. An Arizona favorite, they provide everything you could want in a classic comfort food. Satisfying crunch, hot savory filling, uh, and mouth-watering toppings like sour cream, hot yep. sauce, and guacamole. It's oh, enough I love to guacamole. make even the saltiest superhero fall in love. Time to make the chimichangas. <laughs> Chicken and dumplings are typically made. Yeah, that last one I want right now. I actually want that so bad. Made from a biscuit like mixture of flour, baking powder, salt, and milk. The dumpling, which is then dropped into a pot with hot broth and chicken and cooked until doughy like a noodle. Once Not a staple for lower income families, the dish has become a favorite throughout the state of Arkansas, including some of Little Rock's most high end restaurants. When you think of California cuisine, fish tacos likely come to mind. And for good reason. They were created by street vendors working along the coast who wanted a delicious, portable way to sell their catch of the day. The battered and fried uh -huh. chunks of cod, halibut, or tilapia served in a warm tortilla and topped with greens, tomato, onion, and lime juice epitomize everything fresh and sunny and ocean-packed that there is to love about the Golden State. They're so good. I mean, look at this beautiful taco. <laughs> in and around the Rockies, people... Look at this beautiful tat that'll be me when i get a taco man from colorado are often called greenies due to the state's distinctive green license plates but there's another reason to call colorado locals greenies as well their love of chili verde Ooh. or green chili a popular dish first dreamt up by spanish settlers green chili is a slow cooked mixture of pork or chicken plus green chiles uh, potatoes beans or tomatoes uh, it's a oh yeah oh i love foods like this I absolutely like like foods like chili, like like chili con carne, a uh, stew. I know this isn't a stew, but like you know, you know foods where it's just like mashed up together. Oh. Hearty, spicy, and slightly sweet stew that's perfect for the state's outdoor active lifestyle and brisk, unpredictable weather. Oh, I'm killed for that right now. A place in the comfort food hall of fame, but in Connecticut, they've swapped out that frying for some perfectly placed steam to create their iconic steamed cheeseburger. Invented a half century ago in the small town of Meriden, uh -huh. steamed cheeseburgers take everything you already love about regular burgers oh, yeah. and make them better. They're juicier, the cheese is meltier, and the bun is even more moist and delicious. Yum. Yeah, that looks good. Delaware's slippery dumplings are a wildly popular regional variation. You guys really like dumplings, don't you? This is two states now where dumplings is uh, featured. See, I'm not a massive fan of dumplings. On the I'm beloved not. staple chicken and noodles. In this case, the dish originated with the Pennsylvania Dutch, who also settled parts of Delaware. Slippery dumplings are a lot like traditional noodles, but also chewier and more satisfying, uh -huh. thanks to their jumbo size. Because of their thickness, slippery noodles also tend to soak up all the flavors of the chicken broth they're cooked in, creating a delicious combo of savory yeah, and slightly sweet good. flavors that one right. in every nah. bite. Believed by many to have been created in the Florida Keys in the mid-1890s by a woman pie. known only as Aunt Sally, key lime pie is a classic Ooh. comfort food dessert loved for its unique mixture of tangy, creamy, and sweet flavors. It looks kind of like a cheesecake with, like, the base. 
Oh yeah, this this is good. The pie typically consists of a graham cracker crust that is filled with a mixture of sweetened condensed milk, key lime juice, and egg yolks, and then baked until set. It's then topped with lush whipped cream or frothy meringue, making it the perfect relaxing comfort food. Yeah, that looks good. By its neighbor to the south, Georgia too chooses pie as its favorite comfort food of choice. Only in this Pe case, it's peach a pie, pie that pairs perfectly with the state's official moniker of the peach date. It's peach pie. Slice of peach. Never had peach Best pie. Made with fresh, juicy peaches that are baked between two layers of flaky golden crust. Oh, like it's actually got whole peaches in it, like peach slices. I thought it'd be more like mushed down. Peach pies have become a staple of Georgia cuisine, as the dessert is the go-to option for countless family gatherings and picnics. A staple in Hawaiian culture for centuries, poke bowls exploded in popularity across the mainland in the last few years. But if you want good, authentic poke, you have to go back to where the dish first started. A typical poke bowl consists of diced raw fish, soy sauce, sesame oil, onions, and seaweed served over white rice. And you don't have to- It looks very healthy. It, it looks very healthy. Uh, see, I would opt for the non-healthy stuff, but that's because I'm unhealthy. But yeah... It looks interesting. To go fancy to get good poke, some of the island's best comes from casual on-the-go settings, like gas stations and convenience stores. Idaho may be known as the potato state, but when it comes to comfort foods, its residents choose beef all the way. Huh? A half century or so back, a chef in Boise started serving up finger-sized strips of breaded, battered, deep-fried, top-brown steak. And Ooh. a regional favorite was born. Finger steaks have been popular throughout the state ever since. Typically served with a side of cocktail sauce, these crispy, Yo. tender shards of beef are salty and savory on the outside and moist and juicy inside. Oh, they sound good. Perfect for a quick snack or a full-on meal. Finger steaks? You have some strange foods in Iowa. <laughs> Ever heard the term pizza pie? If so, then you might have been... Uh, yeah, I've actually heard and seen Chicago-style pizza. And yes, when I come to America, I am definitely having it. Talking to someone from Illinois, where the Chicago-style pizza reigns supreme. The ultimate deep dish oh. treat, Chicago-style pizzas were created as an alternative to trendy, thin crust pizzas of the 1940s. They typically consist of a thick, buttery crust, tomato sauce, cheese, and toppings, plus a selection oh, of meats yes. and vegetables served in thick swaths, almost like a savory Italian layer cake. Delish. But is it really pizza? This is not pizza! This is <laughs> tomato soup in a bread bowl! The European nation of Austria and the state of Indiana may not appear to have much in common at first glance, but they have one big thing in common. Well, that was good. The populations of both love tenderloin. In Austria, it's the Wiener Schnitzel, and the comfort food of choice in Indiana is the pork tenderloin sandwich. A slab of luscious pork tenderloin thinly pounded, breaded, and served on a billowy bun. Talk about comfort. It doesn't matter how you prepare these gold. Oh, I love sweet corn. I actually, is anyone with me watching this? I just love getting a corn on a cob. I don't know if you have corn on a cob there, but it's pretty much this with like a pole coming out of it, <laughs> a stick. And you just buy an Ian. Oh, it's, I love it. I love it. Years, folks in Iowa can't get enough of the ever popular summer staple, sweet corn. The comfort food of choice in the hot. Yeah, it's like that. It kind of looks like that, but the stick is smaller. Hawkeye State, Iowa is the largest producer of corn in the nation and the home to some of the most incredible fresh sweet corn you may ever get a chance to gnaw off the cob. Love sweet Shuck corn. Shuck it from that leafy green husk. You see, I don't like sweet corn when it's off this, right? I only like sweet corn when it's actually like attached. You, you know when like people will put like sweet uh, sweet corn on like pieces? Nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But when it's like this, mm, yeah, love it. Cook until tender, douse it in butter, and let your taste buds soar. Soak it's it in butter. It's hard to imagine, but there was once a time when barbecue pitmasters cut off the ends of the brisket and threw them away, thinking no one would want them because they were burnt. Oh, no they way. They eventually caught on to the error of their ways, and burnt ends, the rich, smoky, and crisp yet juicy tips of barbecued brisket, yes. have become the star of the show ever since. In Kansas City in oh, particular, yes. home to great barbecue, burnt ends are the comfort food of choice for many. Kentucky's Hot Brown Sandwich is a late-night snack turned what comfort food classic. Created by Fred K. Schmidt, a chef at Louisville's Brown Hotel in the 1920s, the dish was originally intended to feed out-of-town guests and locals who had danced in the hotel's ballroom until the wee hours. Uh? Schmidt drummed up an open-faced sandwich of turkey, bacon, and cheesy Mornay sauce, which he then baked and served hot. The sandwich was an immediate hit and has been quenching cravings ever since. No dish, says Louisiana. A, I would definitely try that, 100%. More than jambalaya, a centuries-old pairing of Spanish paella plus... Jambalaya? 
French and African culinary traditions and cooking techniques, jambalaya usually includes a selection of meat, vegetables, and spices, all uh. simmered together with rice in a tomato-based broth. It's a savory and slightly sweet that entree good. with a subtle kick of heat that Louisianans can't help but crave. It's actually crazy. Like, we're not even halfway through the video yet, and I haven't heard, like, 90% of these. That's mad. Why is the UK so blunt? Why is the UK so blunt? Prior to the 1800s, <laughs> lobster was considered a poor man's food and in such low demand that farmers used lobster meat to fertilize. Hey, that lobster don't want to be eaten, man. They, that, that lobster's like, oh, you, you're not touching me, bro. You're touching me. Their fields. Today, though, lobster is a high-end entree and something nobody loves more than the folks living in Maine. As the largest lobster-producing state in the nation, maniacs know a thing or two about preparing in-demand seafood, and they can't Never get enough lobster. of the lobster roll. Chunks of fresh lobster mixed with mayo and served atop a buttery toasted bun. Uh -huh. It's a comfort food classic. So it's like a lobster hot dog? Like the lobster roll, crab cakes are another dish inspired by a regional abundance of seafood. In this case, Maryland and the state's incredible blue crabs. What's going a on there? Eh? Maryland crab cake usually includes fresh lump crab meat, mayonnaise, breadcrumbs, Old Bay seasoning, mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. Oh. These ingredients are mixed together and shaped into patties that are then fried or broiled until crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It kind of reminds me of what we have here like the fish cake, and I love fish cakes. It's a dish so popular that locals have been scarfing it down for nearly a century. Another East Coast state, another perfect seafood inspired oh, comfort what's dish. That? This time it's clam chowder, the comfort food of choice throughout the state of Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Massachusetts. I, I don't like the look of that. It's too like gray and creamy this simple yet hearty soup which combines chopped oh. clams potatoes onions bacon and either milk or cream has been is that like the ingredients sound nice so it probably tastes good but from the looks i yeah i'd be passing that on the menu been uber popular throughout the bay state since at least the 18th century in fact america's oldest restaurant the union oyster house in boston has been serving the soup consistently on its menu since oh, the wow. place first opened up way back in 1826 Wow. How does a Coney Island inspired hot dog end up the comfort food of choice in Michigan? Think Greek immigrants who were inspired by the hot dogs they ate oh. in Brooklyn and took that idea west to their new homes. Numerous Coney Island style restaurants pop. I had a hot dog last night, right? And oh, I want another one now. Oh, you know what? I might have leftovers. I might be able to get one after this. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? <coughs> Sorry. I've never tried like a chili, chili dog or anything like that. I'd love to try one one day. I might actually uh, make one. How would you do it? You just get like ch like chili con carne kind of and just put on a hot dog? Up throughout Detroit in the early 1900s. And some are still in operation today. Oh, the that star looks of good. Their menu, the classic Coney, a beef hot dog topped with all meat chili, yellow oh. mustard, and diced onions and served in a warm steamed bun. What could be better than a classic all beef cheeseburger? Well, if you're from Minnesota, your answer has got to be the Juicy Lucy. A beloved juicy Lucy. delicacy, the Juicy Lucy is a rich, savory beef burger stuffed with cheese. And you know what? That looks amazing, and the name even makes it better. <laughs> and as that burger cooks, that cheese melts into a molten core of golden gooey goodness, just waiting for you to bite into. Beautiful. Out-of-towners may add onions, pickles, or bacon, but locals keep it simple and let their Lucy shine. Hell As yeah, legend Lucy. has it, Mississippi's Po' Boy got its start when a pair of former streetcar conductors turned restaurateurs and opened a popular eatery. To give back to the community, they handed out free sandwiches to folks who were down on their luck. The sandwiches oh, wow. varied considerably. Some had roast beef, some contained chicken fingers, and some packed fried seafood. But they all had one thing in common. They were served on a French-style baguette they called Po' Boy bread. The name uh, stuck, and Mississippians are still clamoring for the sandwich even now. Oh, wow. The story of toasted ravioli is a simple one. A tired Missouri chef was rushed I love raviolis. to finish an order he was working on when he accidentally dropped a few large ravioli in hot oil instead of boiling water. The restaurant's owner tried to salvage them with some Parmesan, and everyone loved them. Soon, these toasted ravioli were the, Yo, 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 they would be so good. Yo. They would bang. Popping up throughout St. Louis before spreading across the show oh. state to the rest of the country. Yeah, I guess the only thing I was thinking I did was uh, get some toasted ravioli. Uh, you know, I, I grew up on that. So anytime I come back here, I always got to eat it. 
A classic Native American dish that's been popular in Montana for generations, fry, fry bread, bread tacos, tacos take everything there is to love about Mexican food and elevate it with the warm, yeasty, crisp bite I you love can Mexican. even get from fresh baked bread. Starting with fried bread, you then top it with spicy seasoned ground beef, tomatoes, Ooh. cheese, salsa, and sour cream. No wonder the fry bread taco is such a favored comfort staple. If you haven't spent a lot of time in Nebraska, then the Runza sandwich may be a mystery. But for any true Cornhusker, there's no debating the incredible appeal of the Runza. Believed to have been brought to the state in the late 1800s by German and Russian immigrants, a typical Runza consists of savory pastry dough that's stuffed with You know what? I actually love the backstory to the foods that we're seeing here. Ground beef, onions, and cabbage, and then baked to a crispy golden brown. The regional delicacy Lorenza. is so popular that it's even inspired a fast food chain, which operates almost exclusively within the state. Oh, wow, cool. Maybe it's Nevada's link to all those famous 19th century cattle drives. Maybe it's because Las Vegas was Beautiful. home to the country's first ever all-you-can-eat buffet, where prime rib was a main attraction. Maybe it's the famous roaming what is prime that? rib cart at Laurie's The Prime Rib in Las Vegas, which carves and serves up slice after slice of succulent prime rib tableside. Whatever the reason, when it comes to comfort food in Nevada, nothing gets more love than tender, juicy prime rib. What? They just have that there and they just like give you just a slice and off you go? Comfort foods often blossom in regions where ingredients aren't the greatest supply. So what do locals in New Hampshire? Yeah, one of these states had to have had pancakes in here somewhere. One of the nation's leaders in the production of maple syrup flocked to when looking for a taste of home? Maple syrup, of course. And what goes better with the kick of maple than a mountain of pillowy, soft, warm, buttery pancakes? Ooh. And they're not just for breakfast. Throw some bacon or sausage on the plate Ooh. to sop up that syrup. And you've got a classic comfort meal for any hour. Yo, these videos actually send me crazy, bro. Because now I like I want to order some pancakes. Now I want to order some pancakes. Get some bake. Oh. Depending on where you grew up in Jersey, you may call the state's official sandwich a pork roll, or you might call it a Taylor ham. But right. however you order it, the ingredients are the same. Slices of processed smoked pork roll ham uh. that's pan fried until crispy and then topped with egg and cheese and then placed between two slices of a Kaiser roll or sliced bagel. It's Justin? simple, it's affordable, it's versatile, it works for every meal. Uh. And for folks living in the garden state, it's like a meat guitar. What's going on there, man? Nothing tastes more like home. When I go to the store, I say pork roll, egg, and cheese. One of the most popular of all comfort foods in New Mexico is what's known as albondigas, or Mexican meatball soup. Imagine uh -huh. a sea of homemade beef and pork meatballs swimming in a zesty tomato broth with some added stew. chunks of carrots, potato, and zucchini. Yep. And you have a pretty good idea just why this dish is so widely loved across the state. Talk about comfort. What are these? Are these dumplings? What are these, like meatballs? Buffalo wings were created in Buffalo, New York at the Anchor Bar, which is- Oh my God, so many, listen, listen, so many of you Americans, right, have came into my stream and one of the most asked questions is, do you have buffalo wings in the UK? We don't, we don't, we don't. Well, I don't think we do. I've never seen them, I've never had them. But yeah, you guys love buffalo wings, man. Still in operation today. These crispy fried wings are doused in a tangy, spicy sauce and Ooh. served up with a side of blue cheese dressing, plus celery. They remain a favorite across the Empire State even now, nearly 60 years later, and have spread oh, wow. across the nation to become a favorite of sports fans everywhere. Oh yeah, I know I know you guys are loving buffalo wings. You got <laughs> I never hear the end of it. A thousand tangy wings packed in a black contractor bag. Throw straight to your window and time for kickoff. Oh yes, please. Does that actually happen? North Carolinians know that few culinary dishes pack more beauty oh, than a giant pork. piece of pork shoulder slow cooking over fiery coals. The hours long process infuses the meat with rich, smoky flavor while also breaking it down until it's melt in your mouth tender. When it's done, pull it apart to serve it. Oh. You've got a Carolina pulled pork. The only thing left to debate is whether you top it with the vinegar based sauce popular in the eastern part of the state or the tomato based sauce popular in the west. Choices, choices, choices. Leave it to Give the folks in North Dakota, right, right. one of the nation's leading Chippers. producers of potatoes, to figure out the ideal way to make an already craveable potato even more delicious. All you have to do is dip your chips in chocolate, of course. It may sound odd, but the unique marriage of salty and sweet is an ideal union. And this is one treat you don't have to live in North Dakota to experience. Chocolate bit. Ah! Yo, why don't we have chippers? Why do we not have chippers? Just melt some chocolate and add a chip. It's that simple. The Buckeye is a classic Ohio comfort food that you have to try at least once in your life. This candy confection consists of a ball of peanut butter and sugar dough that's been dipped in chocolate and then chilled until firm. 
the name for the candy. You know what? I would actually prefer it with the chocolate hot. So like what I would do with these right here is I would get the peanut butter. Then I would dip it in the chocolate and then I would eat straight away. I feel like that would be better. It comes from the state's official tree, which produces a similar looking nut that is mostly dark brown with a speck of lighter brown that is said to resemble the eye of a deer. Clever and pretty darn tasty. Like Indiana's breaded pork tenderloin sandwich, oh. Oklahoma's comfort food of choice. I've seen a video on chicken fried steak already and oh my, yo, oh, it looks so good, bro. It looks so Also draws inspiration from the classic Austrian dish, Wiener Schnitzel. Only, in this case, the protein in question is a breaded piece of steak. And instead of eating it between two it pieces so of bread, good. the classic chicken fried steak is typically served next to a mound of mashed potatoes and topped with a rich, savory gravy. It's the perfect down-home traditional meal for one oh, of the so states hungry. that leads the nation in beef production. Nothing wrong with green beans and a chicken fried steak. Named after the Pacific Coast town known as Dungeness, where it was first harvested commercially, Dungeness Dungeon crab, crab has been a staple of the Oregon culinary landscape for decades. Dungeon and for crab. good reason. As fresh seafood goes, it's among the best you can eat. Sweet, delicate, and slightly nutty flavored, the meat from the crab is tender and moist, and perfect with just a slight hit of butter or freshly squeezed lemon. In Never Pennsylvania, the comfort food of choice combines bits of ham, bacon, sausage, and other unwanted pork scraps, plus cornmeal and spices, to make something altogether new and unique. Scrapple, cut into slices and fried up with breakfast, or <laughs> they have been time of their life, mate. Or cubed and added to omelets, soup, or stew. Scrapple is a meat product you have to try in order to truly appreciate. Okay. Scrapple, I don't want to know what's in it. <laughs> Eyeballs and tongues. <laughs> oh, is this one of those foods? Uh, we have a food like this in uh, in the UK. Um, I don't know if you have it in America. It's probably right, but donna meat. So like. It's always, people always say, oh, we don't know what's in Donna meat, but it's really good. Is it like one of those foods? It has everything imaginable in it. Rhode Island has taken clams in a different direction with the stuffy. Made from fresh chopped clams, plus breadcrumbs, butter, onions, celery, garlic, and spices, the stuffy mixes all the ingredients together, scoops them into a shell, and bakes them until golden brown. Uh -huh. For many who grew up in the ocean state, stuffies epitomize summer and family trips to the beach. Exactly the memories you want from a beloved comfort meal. The comfort food that folks in South Carolina jones for the most is actually a dip, and an incredible one at that, pimento cheese. Made from a simple blend of grated sharp cheddar cheese, plus diced pimentos and mayonnaise, this spreadable comfort in What is it, the red thing? In a bowl is great with fresh veggies or crackers. It can also be used in sandwiches. Try it in a grilled cheese. Life-changing. Alright, one day I will. Thank you very much. It was a cheese. They call it the caviar of the South. Whether people in South Dakota are attending a festival, a fair, or a backyard Chislick. barbecue, there's always one amazing comfort food on the menu. Chislik. A variation of the Persian word shishlik, chislik is a play on the classic shish kebab, brought to the region by German and Russian immigrants who settled the area in the late 1800s. Right. The dish typically consists of bite-sized cubes of lamb, beef, or venison that are seasoned with garlic, onion, and black pepper. You know what? The chislik, these are looking very chewy. I, 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 li I like kind of like soft meat. This is kind of like, like chewing meat. I'm used to chewing meat in the UK. But these chips are looking good. Or these fries or whatever you want to call them. They're looking good. And then grilled or deep fried. Everybody knows and loves classic American fried chicken. But Who kick doesn't? that crisp, juicy treat up a notch by adding cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic mm, powder, and mm, black pepper. Mm. And you've got a Tennessee favorite, hot chicken. Believed to you be got a Lewis favorite right there. You got a Lewis favorite right there. To the result of another fortuitous kitchen blunder, when a chef accidentally added too much spice in her fried chicken, the dish has now become part of the cultural fabric of Nashville. Make sure to order yours with dill pickles. The cool acidity helps... A pickle Rick! Sorry, I had to. Every time I see a pickle, I have to... I just always think it's pickle Rick. To cut through all that fire. Texas is the home of Tex-Mex, an incredible... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One of my favorite... This is why I want to move to, uh, to Texas, man. I want to be so listen. I love Tex Mac. I love chili cook. Oh, Through all that fire, I love chili cook. Texas is the home of Tex Mex, an incredible fusion of traditional Mexican and American cuisines. And the star of the Tex Mex well, family la, la. is chili con carne, originally derived from a you know what? I don't really like sweet corn when it's like sweet corn pieces like that, but I would have it in that. I would have it in that traditional Mexican stew of meat and chili peppers. The dish is a hearty and easily transportable food that was a natural fit for the Lone Star State's early cowboys and settlers. Made from a mix of oh. ground beef, chili peppers, onions, tomatoes, and spices. Chili con carne is great on its own, give me, and give even me. more spectacular when topped with shredded cheese, sour cream, and diced oh. onions. 
Don't worry, funeral potatoes aren't actually deadly. Huh? That's just the name Utah's Mormon community has given this highly comforting potato casserole classic. It's ideal for a lazy Sunday brunch. Why have you called it funeral potatoes? Large family get together or any community potluck. The basic funeral potato recipe includes cubed potatoes, cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, and shredded cheddar cheese mixed together okay. and topped with corn flakes or breadcrumbs before huh? baking. Corn Creamy, flakes. savory, and perfect for sharing. Vermont is home to some of the world's top apple orchards and is a leader in the production Apple cider donut of apple cider. So adding that crisp, refreshing juice to donuts was a natural idea. Apple cider donuts are typically made from a mixture of flour, sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, oh. eggs, butter, and of course, apple cider. The dough is fried and then Yo, nothing hits better than a good donut. You know when you get like an absolute good donut? And coated with a thick layer of cinnamon and sugar. Look for homemade versions at farmer's markets and roadside stands throughout the state. They're a Vermont staple. I'm starving now. Long before Egg McMuffins, there was the Virginia Ham Biscuit, one of the first portable grab-and-go meals and a classical Dominion comfort food even today. First created back in the colonial era, ham biscuits were originally all about the ham. Almost all rural families raised and smoked their own meat. And I don't know, this one ain't looking too, like, satisfying to me. And putting a couple of slices of that homegrown ham in the middle of a fresh biscuit, perhaps with some added mustard, mayo, or honey, was considered an ideal way to help the meat shine. Uh. Washington State is one of the leading producers of sweet cherries in the U.S., and when you have a lot of cherries, you make cherry pie. This delicious confection has been... You guys actually love putting the fruit as the fruit pieces in the pies, don't you? Would that not feel weird when you bite into it? Like with the peaches, it was actually all like actual pe peach slices. And the cherries is the actual cherries. I thought you would, you would like mash it up and pull it in. A popular dessert and one of the state's most beloved comfort foods since settlers first arrived in the region and brought their cherry trees with them. A perfect mixture of sweet and tart flavors, cherry pie ticks off all the boxes for just what makes a comfort food so appealing. One of West Virginia's most beloved regional specialties, Ooh. the pepperoni roll, is a bit like a rolled up slice of pizza, except it's made with a thicker, flakier bread dough. And the average pepperoni roll tends to be stuffed with way more filling. Mountains of pepperoni, shredded mozzarella, oh. onion, peppers, and marinara sauce, all heated to perfection inside the portable that bread shell. So good. Originally created by Italian immigrants working in the state's coal mines, the humble pepperoni roll has since gone on to become the official meal of the mountain state. That sounds Wisconsin so good. Wisconsin is known for its cheese, so it's it's no surprise that their favorite comfort food is a cheese-based dish. Cheese curds, bite-sized chunks of leftover fresh cheese that are produced during the making of other cheeses like cheddar, cheese. Colby, or Monterey Jack, are one of the state's most popular appetizers and snacks. The shards of cheese, which oh, squeak they do when look you good. eat them raw, are batter dipped and then deep fried to gooey perfection. Oh yeah. Wyoming is one of the largest states in the nation. Beautiful. That is, we don't even need to see the food. Wyoming, beautiful. But also the least populated. Fortunately, all that wide open space leaves plenty of room for natural wonders, including the country's largest herds of buffalo or bison. Bison burgers use some of that abundant meat, swapping it for beef in any classic hamburger recipe. The result is a leaner, greasier, slightly sweet tasting burger that folks in the equality state can't get enough of, oh, wow. with the popularity Ooh, of bison yeah, burgers exploding in recent years. Oh, that's looking good. That was really good. I'm starving now. I ain't gonna lie. I really want to eat some food. But yeah, let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if there's any other foods that you would say is your state's comfort food. Really good video. Enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you didn't make sure to thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash LFWG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.